doing today? So today I'm going to talk about uh, Codasys and uh, Design Studio <coughs> and how to get the uh, the variables in the PLC to the tags in the Design Studio, uh, how to link them. And there's a there's two methods, um, and the methods or how you go about doing it depends on the versions of software. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the classic way of doing things, thing, something that's been around since uh, Festo came out with their PLCs. Um, so it's important to understand that we're using version 3.5, Service Pack 4, Patch 1, and Design Studio is 1.91.0.261. Um, first thing we want to do is create a project. <coughs> And okay, so project for the sake of what we're doing here, I'll name this Codasys Classic PLC, and we'll save it in that directory. Standard project. <coughs> Let it create the shell project. Uh, we're going to select uh, Control Win V3 as our PLC today. Uh, just because I don't have a PLC around. Structured text is my preferred for most situations. For the sake of what we're doing here, I'll start up the uh, Codasys uh, simulator here. Leave that running. And we need some tags. See how fast I type? Speedy Gonzalez. Save the tags, and so now show you the directory here. So this is the directory we're storing our PLC program in. So move this over here so we can see what we have in each. Okay, so in order to get tags from the PLC to, or in order to get the variables from the PLC to the tags in the HMI. Uh, we need a symbol configuration. So we need to add a symbol configuration. And first we need to just do a build. And once we've got the build, I'll show, come back to this in a second here. I'm going to go to the PLC settings. So I'm just going to say update IOL and stop. I like to do that. Just force a habit. Um, uh, select our PLC. That's our PLC running. So we've saved that over here. Still have the th four files. Um, what I'm attempting to show you here is when it creates the XML file. So the XML file is what links the PLC to the uh, HMI. The uh, user does a build, and before he does that, sorry supposed to select what tags you want. So in this case, I'm going to select these tags. I'll hit save, hit build, come over here, and there's no XML file yet. So only when we do a generate code does it now create this XML file. <coughs> if we open the XML file, we'll see that it has these two tags right here. Okay. This is what's going to be transferred uh, and downloaded to the PLC. So now we need a Design Studio project. So I'm just going to minimize this, open up the Design Studio project. And I'll just say new. Give it that name, finish, give it a size. Never asked me for a size. So I guess I skipped over that. So we come over here and select the size, which really doesn't matter, but <coughs> I always like to show everything in the 13 inch. Now we come into a, a tag library here and we'll notice that there's nothing to select. So I put this on the page, go down to attach, and hey, there's no tags. Okay, so first thing you have to do 
control uh, or set up a protocol. So do the add button for most of the projects that I deal with are, these days are Codices version 3 PLCs. So set up that. Uh, for this particular uh, demonstration, we're using the uh, the simulator. So we're just going to use 127.001 as a, a known thing. And we'll call this PLC device name. And hit OK. So now we've got a protocol set up. Now we need tags. So we come into this tag right here. And over here, we click on this right here, which hit cancel. Let me put the uh, import tag. So we click on here. Codice is version 3, XML, hit OK. And now you need to go find the XML file. So this is our directory right here. This is our D Design Studio project. <coughs> Basically, that's where an XML file It's It's uh, 9.56 p.m., 9.59. We make sure of that. Hit open, two tags, and hey, there's our two tags. Are they in the project yet? No. Let me just show you that. Attach to. Again, no tags. So the next step, go back here. You have to select the tags. So you have to, you know, control and then select each line, or, or you select one or control, uh, shift, and then select the tags. And this right here says import tags. So now they're moved from this down to here. Okay. Now when we go to here on the page, right click, attach to, hey, we finally have tags. Okay. So I've just shown you the old school way of doing things. So for the sake of what we're doing here, I'm going to show you the tag working. So <coughs> I'll start the simulator. Uh, hopefully this works. Turn off your simulation. Minimize this a little bit. Go to the PLC here. Download to the PLC. PLC in a run mode. Come in here. Oh, look at that baby. So she's working. Click. Off, on, off. All right, so that took seven minutes, 46 minutes, seven, seven minutes, 46 seconds to show you how to do that. And now I'm going to show you the new way of doing things. Um, and I believe it started in this version. That's why I'm showing you this. Uh, so the alternative way of doing things. So I'm just going to put the project or the video here on hold for a second while I close a couple windows. Uh, before I close everything, I'm going to show you one other thing. So we, we've shown that the, the PLC is updating and now I want to include one more tag. Okay, so I come over here, hit the save button, build, generate code, now, as before, you can go back into here, into this XML file, and you'll see that the, the third third Steve file here, right here, it's now been added to the file. Now, now what do we do? So, now we have to do a, you know, re-import tags. Do it all over again. Three tags added. So, now you can do them all. If you kind of think that they're all the same and do the same thing all over again. Uh, already exists, you want to replace, apply it all, and hit yes. So so now they're all there. So now I can go and I can actually select. Thing. But I mean, I just had to do that all over again, basically. You know, there's my tag. Which is a pain in the butt. Um, so this is the old school way of doing things. It's not, it's not the new way of doing things. It's uh, it, it works, but, you know, it's not the preferred method. So I'm going to show you the next method in a second here. I'm just going to close down some programs.